today's topic is interesting. Someone asked me the other day, they said, well, why do we call it the millionaire mentorship call? And, and the reason is it's not so much about money and dollars and cents, but it's really about solving the riddle of survival. In other words, until we learn how to provide for the material possessions of our lives, food, clothing, shelter, health care, transportation, that we're going to always be chasing, I guess we say chasing the ball. And so our goal is to transform people from making a living, in other words, just surviving, and to living their making, which is fulfilling their destiny, which is really learning how to have that time freedom, that other kind of freedom to be able to pursue their dreams. And so we call it the Millionaire Mentorship Calls because our goal is to help you learn, practice, and master those skills that can help you develop the thoughts, the emotions, the habits, and the associations that can help you be what you want to be, do what you want to do, and have whatever you want to have. And so lesson number 301, why network marketing? I like to begin with a quote and it's a quote from Zig Ziglar. And Zig is one of the masters in our, in our field. Zig Ziglar had been the person who in so many ways has transformed entrepreneurship. And Zig's quote, that I love so much is the best way to get rich is to help a whole lot of other people get rich. I'll say that again. The best way to get rich is to help a whole lot of other people get rich. Zig Ziglar. And so network marketing can give you that platform. People often say, well, why? When people think about doing something different, they may not automatically jump on network marketing. Thank you so much. So many of you are joining us. Beautiful. Welcome, welcome. And let your friends know. I think this is going to be a powerful message today. And so let's look at the trends. Where, where, where are we heading as a country with people? Well, Paul Zane Pilzer, and he, he's one of the people that has written about where we're heading. His book, Mega Trends, he talks about the idea of what's going to be the next big thing, what's going to be the next big project. And he says this, that network marketing and health and wellness are going to be the next major trend areas for this decade. And so over the next 10 years, we're going to hear a lot about network marketing, about health and wellness. And there for many reasons. The thing of the baby boomers, you know, the baby boomers have impacted every buying decision, uh, every buying trend for the last 50 or 60 years. You know, they bought Mustangs in the 60s. They bought minivans in the 80s. They built homes. And so Paul Zane Pilzer says the network marketing and health and wellness is the key. What do baby boomers want to do? They want to live longer. They want to look better. Welcome so much, Michael Muse and Stuart Brown. Thank you for joining us. Beautiful. And so if we think about that, that's the trend, folks. And if you're ever going to get rich, if you're ever going to solve that riddle of survival, it's a whole lot easier to swim with the stream than against the stream. So in every cycle, you have your booms. You have the, you have the dot-com booms. In Silicon Valley, you had the Wall Street boom, the stock boom. Well, the next 10 years, the boom is going to be in what we call personal wealth creation based on wellness and network marketing. Now, this is already happening. I'm not telling you something that we're learning, that every week, nearly 200,000 people join a network marketing company worldwide. Nearly 200,000 people. And so the question has to be, why are they doing that? What is it that they see that makes them want to join this industry? Now, I'm, I'll tell you this. Many of us, and I'm included, have had some, let's just say, exciting experiences. I won't call them negative. I'll tell you, my track record is this. 
I've been in 18 different companies and 15 of them, I lost money, but I made friends, <laughs> okay? So if you are in that boat, like I was, where you've gotten a little discouraged about it, hey, perk up, because the timing may not have been right. Maybe you didn't have the skill set necessary. So let's just put that all behind us and let's look very objectively at some powerful things. Why are people going into network marketing? Why are 200,000 people joining that industry every week? As an entrepreneur, I'll say the, the, the foundation of entrepreneurship is, we call it the, the, three, the three Bs. So you got to be vertical, which means you, you've got to have your, your health. If, if you don't have your good health, then really nothing else matters. Trust me, if you're seriously trying to stay alive, and trying to maintain good health, then uh, you need to take care of that first. So you got to stay vertical. You got to take care of your health. If you're not feeling well, it's hard to focus and work. The second B, you got to be in motion. In other words, you got to be able not just to get around. We don't just mean physical motion, but also we have to be in motion that willing to change, willing to change your location, change your direction, change your attitude. And then you got to be connected. So you got to be vertical, be in motion, and be connected. And this period, we represent the most connected generation ever. The internet has given us a platform for connection where we can meet people that we've never seen and may never see and build positive relationships with them. And so based on that, as an entrepreneur, that's, that's square number one. You got to take care of your health. <laughs> you got to be open to move in whatever way is, is, is necessary. And you've got to be connected, plug into the world. Another concept I want to share with us is, is wages versus salary. Now, it's a simple principle. If you're getting a salary, it doesn't matter whether you're getting $750 an hour as an entry level worker or whether you're making $550 an hour as a top attorney or whether you're making $1,000 an hour as a fantastic brain surgeon. Okay? you're still getting a wage. And that means that you're literally being paid by someone else based on their evaluation of your value. We often say you're, 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 you're operating in somebody else's dream. And so as a lawyer, they're only going to pay you that five fifty an hour because they can make more money using you at that level. As a doctor, the same thing as a brain surgeon. And so if you're looking at salaries, the bottom line is you're, you're always trading hours for dollars. And there's always a limited number of hours. There's 24 hours in every day. You have to take time out to rest. You have to take time out to, to eat, to, to, to commune with your family. And so as long as you are getting a salary, you are a part of somebody else's dream. And there are two words that stand between you and financial challenges, and they are, you're fired. <laughs> and so the key to entrepreneurship, the key to solving the riddle of survival, the, the key to taking control of your life is to go from being a part of somebody else's dream to creating your own dream. And that's what profits are about. Profits are about generating income based on your concept and based on your efforts where you're paid based on what you're worth and the efforts you put forth, not being paid based on what somebody else says you're worth. There's a beautiful uh, video that's called The Connector. And it talks about how in the early part of the 20th century, the, the needs of the workplace, we were in the industrial revolution and they wanted people to come and work in those plants. And they developed a nice paradigm. You come to work in the plant, you spend eight hours a day, you come five days a week, six days a week. 
and they'll pay you and you work 40 years and you get a pension. So it was kind of a good deal. You knew you, you couldn't go far, but so low. And, and if you did what they wanted you to do, you'd get a consistent income. But also you're not gonna go but so high because they're never gonna pay you any more than they think you're worth. The challenge with that, that type of thinking is the moment you accept that, then you don't deliver any more than you have to to keep from being fired. <laughs> so it has a, has a tendency to stunt your growth. If you know that you're not gonna be rewarded for extra effort, if you know that you're not gonna be rewarded, you go to night school and you learn more and you increase your skill level on your job, guess what? You're gonna stop learning. You're gonna stop going to night school. You're gonna just get into that, that rut, we'll call it. And so if we want to achieve, solve the riddle of survival, where we are in charge of our future, of our lives, then we have to really look at the three ways to create wealth. Number one, you can create wealth on a job. But as I said before, you're always working on somebody else's dream and you're only going to be paid just enough to keep you from quitting. And so to create wealth based on a job, you have to do it over time. There's a lady, Miss McCarthy, down in, I think, Texas, and she worked as a domestic, really, a washerwoman, a, a janitor. But over a period of over 40 years, even though she never made more than $1,000 a month, she was able to accumulate over $150,000 and to give it for a scholarship fund for, for girls to go to college. So salaries do work, but number one, it takes time. Right? And number two, you're only gonna be paid just enough to keep you from quitting. And number three, those two terrible words stand between you and financial problems and they are, you're fired. Second way to create wealth is through investments. And that's a great idea. The other challenge is you have to have the investments first. In other words, unless somebody died and left you a nice body of stock or some real estate investments, that's not viable. It can work. And many times people use the two in conjunction with a job and investments. Sandra worked on a job and over 40 years she saved money and she invested and created a nice stock portfolio. So that can happen, but once again, it takes place over a significant number of years, the time question. I, I sometimes call that the scenic route to wealth, <laughs> okay? It takes 20 years, but believe me, if you do it systematically, you can get there. Well, thank you so many of you joining us on uh, Instagram. Welcome, thank you, and share it. We sure appreciate you here, being here and every Saturday at eight o'clock Eastern. We're gonna be on Instagram and Facebook Live. The third key to becoming wealthy is to have your own business. And that is why network marketing is becoming so popular now because companies don't wanna pay pensions anymore. You know, there was a time when you worked for the government, if you had a job as a police officer or a teacher, you didn't get paid as much as somebody in industry, but the one thing you had was job security. Well, uh, as a friend of mine once said, how's that working for you? Because today in a profit-driven economy, they will lay off teachers. They will pay teachers so low that teachers have to work a second job just to be able to work on the job that they love. You see that the teachers are, are striking now because they say, gosh, you can find money for everything else. Here we are in charge of your most valuable asset, the future, the children, and you don't want to pay us enough that we can even show up. We need a part-time job to, to finance my desire to teach and mold the future. So that security is gone. And so as a result, people have to find ways to be in business for themselves. And so let's look at the 12 reasons to do network marketing, 12 reasons, 12 you might say qualities of a network marketing business. Quality number one, 
low startup costs. It, it, it's so interesting. You can look in throughout the entire industry in, in network marketing, and you'll find that most companies you can get involved and literally own your own business for anywhere between a hundred and a thousand dollars. There are a few that you can pay more. There, you know, you have the elite levels, and you know, some people want to come in at a higher level. They, they, we often, you know, some people think the more it costs, the better it is, and that's okay. And so, some companies you may you know, cost a thousand or fifteen hundred dollars or even more, but that's okay. But the idea is you're owning a business. And so the low startup cost is key. If you look at any other type of business, I don't think there's a single other business where you can get a business for a hundred to a thousand dollars that has the income potential of a network marketing business. If you look at franchises, for example. A subway franchise runs you anywhere from about 160,000 to say 250,000 startup costs. Okay. Even a 7-Eleven, it'll cost you anywhere from 37,000 to 1.5 million. Okay. Not to disparage 7-Eleven, but it requires you to have inventory, a lot of stuff to get set up. Pizza Hut requires anywhere from about 290,000 up to a, a million and a half. So the idea is that to be in any other type of business, you're going to have to spend some serious money. McDonald's, and I, you know, McDonald's might be the grandfather, the granddaddy of them all, but a McDonald's startup will be anywhere from one to 2.3 million. Even the janitorial franchises, you're talking 3,500 to 5,000. So if you look at network marketing as a business vehicle, as a business possibility, low startup costs are number one, key, number one. Number two, second reason, is income potential. You know, every franchise, we were doing some, some research, and every franchise, every business, there's a range a potential income. I was looking at uh, some statistics in the whole franchise industry that the income from the average income from being the owner of a franchise is somewhere between about sixty thousand and one hundred and fifty thousand a year. That's that's pretty much the range. Yeah. Even a McDonald's uh, per store, you're looking at somewhere around a hundred to one hundred fifty thousand a year. And so in other businesses, franchises, other businesses, there is a cap on your income. And not only that, you get an opportunity to work your tail off. One of my friends owned one of those chain restaurants, and he said that he loved it. The greatest day of his life was the, the two best days was the first day was the day he bought it, and the next best day was the day he sold it. And he was saying for a period of 10 years, Six days a week, either he or his wife was on the premises from 4 a.m. to virtually midnight. So when we look at that, that income potential of most businesses is very limited. If we look at network marketing, the income potential is virtually unlimited. There was a, a, a nice series of write-ups on accumulated earnings of some of the top people in network marketing. And you look at someone like a Dexter Yeager. I, I did Amway for three times, as I remember. And Dexter was one of the top earners, Dexter and Bill Britt. I remember reading somewhere that Bill Britt's residual income after he died for his family was about six million a year. Dexter, Dexter earns over a million dollars a month, say that again, over a million dollars a month. And he's just coasting. In other words, since he's been in the industry, he's earned over $250 million. There's a ton of people making over a million dollars a year. The company that I'm associated with, our top people earn an average of a million dollars a year. I think we got about a dozen of them, a few. And so the thought is that, and there could be more, there's no limitation. 
<laughs> Excuse me. There's no limitation. Once you get to that level, you can just do more. So network marketing has virtually unlimited income potential. The third reason for network marketing is low overhead. Most home-based businesses, home-based network marketing businesses, you can run for a couple, your overhead's a couple hundred dollars a month. And, and, and think about this, as a home-based business, you get certain tax benefits for operating your business out of your home. So, you know, you want to consult with your accountant, but you can often deduct a percentage of your expenses of your home, the mortgage, your light bill, your telephone, as a cost of doing business. And so the fact that the low overhead is incredible is incredible. Let me tell you something. You are you own any other type of business and look at your overhead. I've been involved in a number of businesses, even a law firm. I'm a retired attorney. And even a law firm, our overhead was incredible. Just having the office, paying the rent, maintaining uh, <laughs> what do you call it, liability insurance, <laughs> all the different the overhead was tremendous. Your overhead is such that before you can even open the door, we were spending about $5,000 a month. Before you open the door to make $1. So network marketing, low overhead is incredible. Most companies, if you go through it, you'll find that you can be quite successful with the 200 to no more than $1,000 a month in overhead. The fourth reason why network marketing can be your solution. Is no employees. Okay. Then let me tell you, when I practiced law, as I was sharing, you had employees, you had secretaries, you had lawyers, you had paralegals. And any business that you go in, when you have employees, it puts you in a whole different league. You'll find at some point, I know, at one point in our business, I was working for them. And I guarantee many of you, those of you who are listening today, and will be listening in the future. If, you, if you're running a business and you have employees, I guarantee you there'll come a day when you say, you know what, I'm working for them. <laughs> Many times they're making more than you make. And so that idea of no employees is quite tasty, you might say. Because it's not only the money, it's the variables, it's the personalities. The fifth reason why network marketing can be your solution. That it can be a part-time business. A part-time business. Think about, can you imagine opening a McDonald's and saying, but well, I'm only gonna work 20 hours a week. <laughs> can you open, can you imagine any business, heck, any job, unless it's a part-time job, but network marketing can be a part-time opportunity so that you can take a little bit of money and build it up while you maintain your job, while you have the security of whatever you're doing. And so the fact that it's a part-time opportunity, I'm not knocking franchises or anything, but I'm saying that even if you have a franchise, or not, you're still trading time for dollars. You're still working in the, in the framework of the franchise rules and regulations. So the fact that network marketing can be a part-time opportunity, which means that you can build it while you're doing whatever you're doing to make a living. The sixth point, sixth reason why network marketing is huge, is no large inventory. One of my favorite health food stores, before she ever opened her door, she had nearly $100,000 in inventory. And after she passed, the young people were running the store, but they didn't have the resources to stock up. And so when you would go there, they wouldn't have what you wanted. You know, out of loyalty to the store, I'd, oh, I want this particular vitamin. Oh, we don't have it. Can we order it? Yes. And so if you're in any business, you got to have inventory. You can have a Popeye's. Can you imagine the Popeye's with no chicken? <laughs> And so the fact in network marketing, you don't need a large inventory. Most of that is covered by the company. Most of it really operates almost like on a mail order uh, consciousness. So you don't need to maintain a large inventory. You just do your business. 
The seventh reason for network marketing is residual income. Michael Huey, welcome. Thank you for joining us. One of the great network marketers. <laughs> the seventh reason why network marketing can be your key to success, your key to changing your life, is the residual income. You see, when you own a company, you can get that residual income. When you have a job, you cannot. And so in network marketing, you get residual income, not only from your own efforts, but from everybody in your organization. Remember, Zig Ziglar said the way to get rich is to help a whole lot of other people get rich. Well, the nature of network marketing is that you help other people become successful. And in doing so, you become successful yourself. And so that idea of residual income is huge because you come to a point where you can literally collect money get a check every month doing virtually nothing they're coming is that if you just use the product which you're doing anyway you can get paid and let me tell you something folks residual income for me that was a key as a practicing attorney we had great hourly income we did well but guess what if i didn't show up nothing happened if i didn't show up for a year i'd be out of business and out of a home in network marketing, if you build it right, your residual income can take care of you for the rest of your life. Think about Dexter Yeager. Dexter probably hasn't worked, and I haven't talked to him lately, but he probably hasn't really worked hard in his business for 20 years. And yet he's making a million dollars a month. Boy, wouldn't you like that to be you? Yes. The eighth reason for network marketing is that you can use the power of leverage. You see, leverage is the key. I think one of the great uh, financiers, I think it was uh, John Paul Getty, said that he would rather have 1% of the income of 100 people than 100% of his own income. See, this power of leverage now gives you the ability to use exponential growth. You see, network marketing is very often based on exponential growth. And so the power of leverage gives you the opportunity to build a team and receive a percentage of what everybody on your team generates. This power of exponential growth, just think about this. Now our company, for example, pays nine levels. And when you use the power of exponential growth, we often say, well, and most companies have a similar um, structure. Say, so, well, get five distributors and teach them how to duplicate and get five distributors and teach them how to duplicate and get five distributors. Well, if you look at going down nine levels, exponential growth, Five becomes 25, become 125, becomes 625, becomes 3125, becomes 15,000, becomes 75,000, becomes 350,000, becomes 1.9 million by the time you go down nine levels. Wow. Wouldn't you like to receive 1% of 1.9 million people? Well, that's possible in network marketing. The ninth reason. Is there no geographic limitations? You know, the whole thought now, the, 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 the business model now is the global economy. It's the idea that you can have a business anywhere in the world and network marketing embraces that. So there are no limitations geographic. When you open any other franchise, there's a certain geographic limitation. You won't find two McDonald's next to one another, or two Kentucky Fries next to one another. The limitation, geographic limitation, is built into the system. In network marketing, there's no geographic limitation. Any company, any country in which your your company operates, you can make in, you can get income. Michael says the compensation plan is blind. Absolutely, doesn't care where it comes from. <laughs> okay, and so that idea of of of, of that there's no geographic limitations is huge because. You never know who you, it's not just who you know, but it's who, who the people you know know and who they know. 
they say, was it six degrees of separation? And we probably all know one another. If someone really applied that principle to an international network marketing company, my goodness, unlimited potential. Number 10, that's what I like to call the legacy aspect of network marketing. I have, I have two sons and a daughter. And although we've had incredible success in network marketing, can you imagine that neither one of them wants to do it? Same thing happened in law. When our law practice, neither one of my kids wanted to be a lawyer. And that's interesting because if they didn't want to be a lawyer, they couldn't take advantage of what I had built. If, if I was a, a franchise owner, if they didn't want to be a part of it, they really couldn't take advantage of what I had built. But the beauty of, of a legacy income is because of its residual nature. Mm -hmm. That even though they may not choose to do it actively, they can still benefit from it because the business itself carries itself, that legacy part. And so you literally can build it deep and wide and they can take care of kids who won't hit a lick of a snake. The love key is that your network marketing company is marketable. It's a company just like a McDonald's, just like a, any other franchise, just like a shoe store, just like a clothing store. You can literally sell your network marketing company. If you're doing a million dollars a month, that's a $12 million company. Can you imagine selling a $12 million company, a company that's generating 12 million sales? Oh, yes. T.K. Diamond, my great financial wizard, she says, I love residuals. I do too, honey. <laughs> residual income, I tell you, you, you know, when you get that residual income coming, sometimes you have to really motivate yourself. You have to build a bigger dream. Olden says, duplication and follow. Don't try to reinvent the wheel. <clears throat> That's the beauty of it. You know, when you get a franchise, you just follow their plan. Network marketing is just as structured. And so when you have a good system, follow it. The 12th and final reason for becoming, getting a network marketing company, the why, is that the network marketing can give you freedom and lifestyle. In other words, once you've solved the riddle of survival, once you've mastered the skill set for success in network marketing, and once you've worked it, now it doesn't happen overnight. One of my good friends, Eric Warren, says, network marketing is not a get-rich-quick scheme, you know? But you do get rich quicker. <laughs> so in network marketing, it is reasonable that in a period of two to five years, you can achieve financial success comparable to what you're making full-time on your job. In five to eight years, you can achieve outrageous well, that's incredible, folks. That's incredible. And so network marketing can give you the freedom, can give you the lifestyle, can, it can do exactly what you want your life to be, help you create it. And so the, the, the question is, if you look at these 12 reasons, and we'll recite them again, the question always comes down to this. When a person looks at the network marketing business opportunity, they have two questions. One is, does it work? Well, when you look at the company's track record, when you look at the product line, when you look at, and thank goodness, when you're publicly traded companies where you have the financials available and you can see the growth of the company over a period of time, then say, you know what, it works. <laughs> okay. The other question people have is, can I do it? Or will it work for me? And that's where the challenge lies. Most people fail in network marketing because they never learn, practice, and master the skills for success. If you commit to learn, practice, and master those skills for success, trust me, your only limitation is your own imagination. So let us summarize for those just joining us. We say why network marketing, the 12 reasons why network marketing may be the key to success in your life. Number one, low startup costs. Number two, unlimited income potential. 
Number three, low overhead. Number four, no employees. Number five, a part-time business opportunity. Number six, no large inventory. Number seven, residual income. I like to call it walk away income where you can walk away and the money keeps coming. Number eight, it uses the power of leverage and exponential growth. Number nine, there are no geographic limitations. Number 10, it's a legacy business. It can run itself and provide for your family long after you're gone. Number 11, it's marketable. You can sell it. You can convert the assets of a network marketing company into cash. And then finally, number 12, it can give you freedom and lifestyle. Freedom to do what you want to do, to be what you want to be, and to have whatever you want to have. So folks, the success in network marketing lies between your two ears. That once you decide that you want to do it, that you have a why, once you choose to learn, practice, and master the skills necessary for success, then success is yours. So get busy doing what must be done to create the dream you desire. Remember, your only limitation is your own imagination. And network marketing can be your vehicle to create the life you desire for you and your family.